What's up, family? It's your boy, that boy can cook. Back at you with another bomb recipe. Today we are going to do, as you've seen by the thumbnail, a delicious homemade hamburger helper, cheeseburger helper, whichever you want to call it. Now let's get to it. All right, let's go over our ingredients real quick. Remember, the measurements are in the description. So we got our Silatani pasta. We have our beef broth, we have sharp cheddar, Kobe Jack cheese, we have our ground meat, we got our diced onion, we got Lowry seasoning salt, chili powder, onion powder, black pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and sun-dried tomato. Meet me at the stove. All right, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get our ground meat. Let's get it cooked off. Get it in our pan, mash it down. Now let's go ahead and get our Worcestershire sauce up in now. Onions in now. Yeah, get them boys in now too. Get them all out. Let's get it mixed up. Seasoning. In there. All over, evenly distributed. Just like that. All right, as you can see, our ground meat is brown and it is ready. So let's get it drained. And we're going to come back to the stove and get this thing finished. So let's go ahead and add our pasta. There we go. And let's just get that pasta mixed in. And let's come back and hit it with our beef ball. sun-dried tomatoes out and I cut them up. That's my fault. I forgot to cut them up before I threw them in there. So you do want to cut them up. That way they can be spread it evenly through your dish. So back to letting this cook down. All right, as you can see, we are almost there. Water is almost drained. Our noodles is pretty much tender. We're just letting the beef broth continue to finish draining. We got just a little bit of that. So let's let that finish. We'll come back and we'll add that cheese to that boy. Yeah. Um, beef broth has completely drained and we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and turn our heat off. We're going to go ahead and add our cheese. Let's just get that cheese in there. A little bit at a time and just get it mixed in. That way it get all melted. We won't have no clumps of cheese in there. So let's just continue to get this cheese in here and get it melted. some more. Uh, we got that boy cheesy and delicious. So let's top it off with some more of our Kobe Jack cheese. And then we're just gonna throw this boy in the oven for a quick minute just to melt this cheese. And when it come out, 
I said and done. You got a delicious one pan meal. 30 minute meal. Satisfy everybody in the house. Everybody full and happy. It is what it is. Yeah. Now let's get this boy up. I only say for about just to the cheese melt. Two to five minutes tops. All right, there it is, family. Delicious homemade cheeseburger helper, hamburger helper, whatever you want to call it, but it is what it is. Now let's dress it up and make it look pretty. So we're just going to throw some green on now, aka parsley. Get it all around and get it looking all scrumptious. Just dig in. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, That boy can cook. Out the place. Out your face. Next time, family.